everybody welcome back to my page and my channel thank you so much for clicking onto this video once again it is so awesome to just share beautiful wisdom about yoga about different things towards you guys these are also your yoga 10 commandments the first one is yamas which is the universal morals that you should have the first one is compassion I really connect that this is the first one because without compassion compassion trickles into all the other first of all all the other eight limbs of yoga as well as the other yamas which is the universal morals and then niyamas the personal observations and they it's five on each which is a collection of ten also in comparison with that like your christian religion where you get 10 commandments these are also your yoga 10 commandments and without compassion you can't have the rest of them so i think there's there's so much importance on the first one of just understanding compassion firstly for yourself everything begins with you if your cup is full how or if your cup is empty how do you expect to fill someone else's cup and it's it's love not only for yourself but for other people it's love for the environment it's love for animals the second one is truthfulness it is honesty it is integrity it is staying true to yourself before people try and influence you they're in yoga and specifically in Buddhism there's the lotus flower and over here this is the lotus flower <laughs> it means to be untouched within muddy water, within your environment that is toxic. It is trying to not be affected by your external environment. And to be untouched is to stay truthful to yourself and to not allow other people to influence you. And by also staying true to yourself, you're true to others. You don't lie, you don't um, misdeed them. Misdeed, is that misdeed? Yes. The third one is non-stealing. It is not stealing people's time, not stealing people's energy, not stealing physical things. It is not only the physical aspect, but it dives down deeper into the emotional part of yourself, into not stealing someone's ideas and making them your own staying true to yourself the fourth one is sense control it is trying to control your senses around you whatever you may observe and it's also just being sensitive to your environment around you through your senses through your hearing and your sight it's also just making sure that you hear good things that you are giving yourself good words and you are surrounding yourself with an environment that's filled with good things that you hear and good things that you see things people celebrating each other um, people being kind to each other not putting yourself in a situation where what you see is actually quite horrible even the things that you watch um, just being very sensitive towards that because through our senses through what we watch and what we read and things like that that makes up our morals you would be very very surprised on on actually how sensitive our bodies are and how just adaptive and receptive they are to different things that we hear and also Things contain energy, so once they we hear it, that energy comes within us. Even what we eat, that energy comes within us, and we embody that energy. So just being knowledgeable about your senses. The fifth one of the yamas is non-hoarding. Not hoarding emotions within, letting them go and releasing them. Not hoarding physical things so that your mind is cut and that's everywhere, but it's rather that you're open, that you are free, and that you feel light. Our second limb of our eight limbs of yoga is the niyamas, the universal observations of oneself. The first one is cleanliness, is being clean within yourself, washing your body, but also being clean within your mind, thinking about good things, not thinking bad on someone, clean within the way that you speak, 
with the words that you say. The second one is contentment. Probably my favorite one out of all of that is just learning to be okay with what is happening now and here and just knowing and learning that things around you won't happen the way that you think and you think that they should happen but rather just finding that inner stillness and that inner peace within those situations and just just simply being content with it not putting your observations and opinions and expectations onto something but rather just sitting with it and and realizing that it is how it is the way it is so let it be the way that it is my third one is the sanskrit name is tapas and tapas means heat which is it, in english it translates to self-discipline and when you're in a, a uncomfortable situation sometimes heat arises within you and you you, you don't want to be there anymore and it's that self-discipline that makes you stay there and force you to be there and be with that heat and that sort of an anger that creates inside of you of not wanting to be there because you feel uncomfortable so you want your body to be in the most comfortable state but realizing by being self-disciplined within small habits that can ripple into so many more aspects of your life which is so beautiful the way that it works our fourth one is self-study and self-study so self with a capital s and self-study with a small s the self-study with a capital one which means to yourself you examine yourself you observe yourself you contemplate your feelings about things you study yourself you see what you like what you don't like what you believe in what you don't what you think is okay and what's not it's knowing yourself and really just diving more into yourself and not just allowing life to just take hold of you and not knowing who you are it's really just diving in and asking yourself those tough self questions and the self-study with a small s which means to be knowledgeable and if you are interested about something go and research it up go take a course and just expand your knowledge let's be human beings that have so much knowledge within us that we can through that knowledge wisdom creates and that seed is planted and we can share that knowledge to other people that maybe don't even have access to it it's such a privilege that we do have access to so many 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 things and it's up to you at the end of the day to expand that knowledge and to own it and to really want it and the fifth niyama which is the last one which could also be named as the tenth commandment is liberation of the spiritual self of surrendering to god of that devotion to something that's beyond the physical to understanding that life is more than just the physical we are physical beings living a spiritual existence and understanding that we have the spirit within us and knowing that there is somebody out there looking on us taking care of us each day at a time and just giving us our blessings as we ask for them i hope that this video has given you some enlightenment and i hope that you may put some of these beautiful limbs into practice as you go into this week have a beautiful week ahead thank you so much for clicking my video namaste